Hi, I'm Tanvi. Hi, I'm Sana. Sana, how do you usually wear your makeup? So I like my makeup almost natural, like I'm not wearing any. But basically, I just want to glow like a halogen bulb. I'm going to create exactly the kind of look that you will like. It's glowy, it's super quick, and it's super easy. To start off with, you've already washed your face. Yes, I have. So I'm going to start my skin prep with a toner. What a toner does is it balances out the pH of your face and also restores the moisture that was lost with washing your face. Next, I'm going with a serum and for that I'm using a vitamin C serum. I'm only going to gently pat it into your skin. Vitamin C is great for brightening up the complexion. It also helps with pigmentation actually. Do you use a vitamin C serum? Yes, I do. I use one every morning and layer it with sunscreen. The serum has actually glowing properties in it. The whole idea of this look is glow and glow and even more glow. Next, I'll be using an eye cream and apply it under your eye, going outwards. I'm just gently also massaging it in so that water retention accumulated under your eye gets de-puffed and your eyes are ready for under eye makeup. Now coming to my favorite step of skin prep, it's moisturizer. And I'm just going to gently massage your face with this hydrating moisturizer. I love to spend that extra minute on the face giving a nice face massage. It really wakes your skin up. Now for the last step of my skin prep, I'm going to take lip balm and just apply it on your lips. We tend to use a lot of liquid lipsticks, gloss, a lot, you know, into our makeup. So a good lip prep is so important. And here we are all set with your skin prep for makeup. Sana, I'm going to start your makeup with color correction being the first step. I always use an orange corrector and I think that works really well for my skin tone since I have a lot of pigmentation. Indian skin tones have so much of warmth in their undertone that always these peach, orange, apricot shades work great as color correctors. So I'm going to apply it under your eye around your nose and going in with a little bit around your mouth also just in the areas where I see a little bit of pigmentation and now I'm going to take a beauty sponge and just dab the color corrector to blend it all away and now I'll go in with I know you don't use it every day but I'm going in with a foundation you only apply the foundation just in the center of your face and not the overall face Basically, I'm just applying a little bit, you know, on the cheeks, forehead, nose, chin. And I'm again going to go with my beauty blender and start blending it outwards. And why is that? Why have you just applied it in the center of my face and not everywhere? Because number one, you have beautiful skin. Thank you. <laughs> you don't need so much. And sometimes when you just want to use product, you know, foundation or you want to go out or you want to use it even for camera, even if you have the right amount of coverage just in the center of your face, it's, it works perfectly. Whatever is left off on the sponge, I'm just going to ask you to close your eyes gently and I'm going to take it over your lids. So on the eyelids, you usually don't end up putting too much product because it gets accumulated in the fine lines. So you use up whatever's left off on your brush or your sponge and just take it over your eyelid. Interesting because I always put product on my eyelids and I always see this crease line which right. isn't fun. <laughs> also one tip, the moment I am almost pushing the product in is when I'm giving you too much coverage. But the moment I'm just using really light hand and just like blending it on your face, I'm just buffing the foundation away. So the way you use your tool also gives you the kind of coverage you want. Going ahead with your concealer, I'm going to apply it on the areas we applied the color corrector before. And that is under your eye. Around your nose. Around your mouth little on your chin and this is the face lifting technique that I'm going to teach you right now. You just take the concealer and apply it just at the end of your eye going towards your temple and again a little bit from your nose diagonally upwards and from the corner of your mouth diagonally upwards. So what I have done with the concealer is that I have given you a natural facelift 
Now I'm just going to use a shade lighter, probably half a shade lighter concealer just under your eye right there to brighten it up. Let's get into your contour now. I'm going to take a little bit of a cream bronzer on this brush and very softly I'm going to just pat it into the contours of your face. And this is where you put the contour ideally. That is going into the shape for three along your face, starting with your temples. And as you can see, my brush is always going outwards. It's not coming into your face. So going outwards from your temples, from your cheekbones, and then down to your jawline. Again, this I'm going to just swirl my brush along your jawline and push the contour product downwards. So you create that illusion of a shadow on your face and that's exactly what you're doing. And we're done with the contour. Now for the next step, we're adding color back to your cheeks and I'm going in with a liquid blush with a brush and just putting it right on those apples and going into your cheekbones. I love a good liquid blush. Uh, even if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll always have some blush on my face. Next step, I'm going to use a cream highlighter and this time I'm going to apply it right with my fingers, going to warm it up in between my fingers and just pat it right where the light hits your face. That is your cheekbones and going under that eye slightly, a little bit even on the high points of the forehead. I'm going to put it on your nose very slightly right there and right at the tip. Now we're done with all creams and liquids on your face. Now we're gonna set it with powder. I see this process in a lot of videos and I don't understand why. Why do you powder your face? So creams and liquids have oil in it. And what oil does is if you put it on top of powder, it'll disintegrate the powder. So it can help it set. Yes, yeah. it'll make your, your makeup look patchy if you put it on top. So that's why I always set it with powder the last. And I'm going to just focus it on your T-zone, especially where you might get oily. Yeah, my T-zone is an oily prone area. Right. So just focusing it right there while still keeping the rest of the face really glowy, really dewy. Going in with your eyebrows and I have to tell you, you have beautiful shaped brows. Thank you again. I'm going to start with just brushing them up diagonally with a spoolie so that I get to know, you know, what is your natural shape, which areas actually does need filling and which yeah, doesn't. I don't have same eyebrows, like one is different <laughs> than the other. They're always sisters, never twins. Yeah, <laughs> that is so true. Okay, so I'm going to now just fill in right where you have the gaps and where I see those gaps. Also, I'm using a shade that's matching and somewhat similar to your natural hair color. That's like a light to a medium brown. Now, because I'm using powder to fill in your eyebrows, I'm going to use the spoolie again to sort of blend the powder into your eyebrow. So why are we using a powder instead of a wax? So powders are more easier to blend, easier to use. They also don't leave stark lines on the eyebrow as if you use a pomade or an eyebrow pencil, it might leave those lines that get difficult to blend. So this is great for somebody who's even a beginner with makeup and for somebody who just wants an easy eyebrow. I mean, that's what we're going for today. It's very easy, it's quick, uh, something that does not take too much of your time. So that's why a powder. Now this is the final step to the way I do my eyebrows. You will love it if you set it in place with a wax or a gel. It won't move at all through your day and just look at the way it also holds up your eyebrow. I have this innate habit of touching my face all the time, so I feel like this is a very essential part of my makeup routine. Moving on to your eyes, I'm just taking a little bit of bronzer actually on my blending brush and I'm just applying it in your crease. I'm gonna take a little bit of the same product and apply it along your lower waterline. Now I'm going to take that same highlighter that we used earlier on your cheek and I'm going to pop in a little bit on the center of your lid so that when the light just hits it in the right place, 
you create some kind of dimension on the lid. For the next step, I'm going to be using this brown eye pencil and tight line just the top waterline. Now I'm taking the same brown pencil that we used and I'm going to just ask you to close your eyes and bring it along your lash line a little bit just on the outer corner and blend it outwards with an angular brush. I'm using an angular brush so that I maintain that little pointy tip on the outside and giving you a slight wing. Next, I'm going to curl your lashes and I feel like this step makes such a huge difference to your eye game. Now I'm going to slowly close it and I'm going to pinch it slightly. Is that okay for you, Sana? Yeah. That's it. I'm using two coats of mascara on your lashes so that they are nice and fluttery and ready. I'm going to now finish off your look with a glossy lip. And for that, I'll be using a dark brown lip liner just to very lightly fill in your lip and line it a little bit. Even if I'm creating this line on your lip right now, I'm going to soften it out with a blending brush so that there are no harsh lines on the face. Because the makeup look that we are going for today is all about natural looking, you know, features and we don't want anything that has too many harsh lines on it. Topping it up with some juicy lip gloss and look at that. And you're ready. That tastes really good. <laughs> this is my version of the clean makeup look for you. And this wasn't as quick because obviously I was telling you in detail as we were going through it. But it's definitely easy, isn't it? I love this look and it's very me. Thank you so much, Tanvi. I love my look right now. And this is going to be my go-to from here on. Thank you, Sana, for being my muse. And with that, thank you guys for watching. Bye. Bye.